Hi, this is JC at Output, and I'm gonna show you how to put the tray on the desk. You either do this after step three, if you're putting the platform together, or you can do it after it's complete, like I'm gonna do now. First thing we're gonna do is make sure that everything that's supposed to be here is here. You may be confused because you can't find your D-screw. Well, the D-screw and the earlier guides look like this, but in reality, they are this. So it's a little bit longer and doesn't have that flat head. For the first step, I'm going to put the E brackets onto the slide hangers. You may be wondering why I'm putting gloves on. Well, it's because the next step is to separate the slide. The slides have grease on them. So you have the slide, you take it, you pull it apart, you flip it over, you find this tab, and you just pull that down and you pull this apart. We're going to use this earlier. This one's a little later and because this is going to attach to the side of the actual tray. So we're going to take the slide and we're going to put it on the hanger. And a lot of people have wondered why we have all of these holes instead of just three. It allows you to basically adjust how far you want it to go out further. So if you don't want the slide when it's all the way out, you know, sticking out to here, you can just move it back a little bit and have it stick out the back so that it won't come out as far when you pull it out. That's what all these multiple holes are here for because it allows you basically an inch adjustment all the way in and out. When the slide is in this position, you'll notice that not all the holes that you'll want to screw into will be exposed. You're gonna have to move the slide around. So in this position, you can see the front, but if you wanna get to the middle, you're gonna move it and you'll get one more towards the middle or this one and see the back, you can move it forward and that's just more exposed. Cool, now we're going under the desk. Scott! Uh, can you please get me the D-screws that don't look like the D-screws? There you go. Thank you. No problem. You have eight holes on the bottom over here and eight holes on the bottom over here, and we're just gonna line up the eight holes. It's very important that you line up the eight holes or the slide will not work. So now we're gonna take this part of the slide and put them on the edge on each side of the tray. Using the A screw, we give you two extra because these are really easy to strip, but just be gentle and don't strip them. Make sure that this side that narrows in is on the back side of the slide because that's the side that enters in the slide that's attached to the hangers. And just line up so the holes are hitting holes. And now we're gonna put the cross brace on the back with the long B screw. The reason why we put the slides on first is it gives us a nice guide to center this because there are not pre-drilled holes on the back of the tray. Ha uh. <laughs> ha! And the last step, making sure the angles are matching on the tray from the tray hangers. At this point, you might be wondering why we gave you blocks. These blocks are actually risers for the desk because the tray on it, some people find that to be too low. So, just get a friend, pick up the desk, set it on the riser. Voila, part deux. Be creative.